Like every good story, there comes a final chapter. For Old McDonald and the CUNA Kings, what a storied run it has been. 0 in 12 in 2024, 3 and 9, 6 and 7, 8 and 5. The ascent continued before stumbling a little bit in year 5. Took things to a whole nother level in 2029 before securing national championship trophies in 2030 and 2031. That's right, going into 2032, we can go back to back to back. The final chapter is guaranteed to be a good one it's time for the sec putting the ball right now into the offense's hands hoping that they can do it oh my goodness brown let's go and as you can tell at 91 overall across the board it's one of our best i just want to take a second and reminisce on everyone that made this team what it is today the baton was passed for quarterbacks who remembers farmer brown farmer brown transferred out of here when mitch birmingham took the job mitch handed it off to pepper and pepper handed it off to flood flood is a top prospect in the nfl draft this offseason and i'm expecting a big year no one really ever compares to velma but he's got one of the fastest receiving rooms he's ever had. Romeo Talton with 99 speed, Nick Olvera 98 speed, six foot five specimen, and we like our dudes big. Pause, but Zari Brown is that six foot five 97 speed. I'm expecting our toughest test yet in the SEC, but 90s are literally littered across the board at every position. We will be put to the test right away against Cincinnati, followed by the Gem State grudge match. Florida State second in the nation, very much unlike their 2024 form. One last Gold Rush Classic, and then the SEC awaits. National first team honors for Leon Osling, second team All-American honors for Kerry Forrester, and shoot, why not? Second team All-American kicking honors. In the SEC, Le'Veon Eagles first team, and surprisingly, Emmanuel Pepper second team, even though he's not the starter. Old McDonald has had a storied coaching career, unlocking the program builder and CEO archetypes. As CEO, he wanted to sell prospects the dream of Idaho. Not too hard when you got golden potatoes. With our remaining points we went into program builder setting the tone increasing composure at home and inflicting more penalties recruiting won't be a heavy focus since this is our final season but it's great to see so many four and five star prospects want to come to cuna idaho we're pretty set in the growing potato business our farm is exploding maybe it's time we explore other avenues with guys like jalen hay and start working on our hay production david lima we could always start growing lima beans heck if we want to expand further into wildlife why not invest in some beavers. To me, Leo Ream, five-star gem quarterback, looks like the perfect candidate to pass the baton down to. I know he's only a three-star, but Old McDonald CEO ability already coming through in a major way. First prospect scholarship offer, insta commit. The quest for a three-peat in the defense tour starts now against Cincinnati. Let's send everything off with a bang. These potatoes are ready for harvest. The Dukes Classic is the opener. Okay, now, I didn't realize we were playing at a neutral site. Maybe I should have paid more attention to the stadium selection. That's actually really cool and check out the new sec patch it all just looks so good dukes mayo classic on next opening drive already moving way down the field gonna throw it right over the middle to ham flood ham first and goal with this star-studded roster i expect to see a lot of magical plays and excitement all year long i mean check flood out it rains it pours, it's gonna flood on Cincinnati today. Kind of wish I knew more about the Duke Mayo Classic and I'm gonna admit, I don't know much about the history or anything really why or how it began. Is it an SEC Big 12 matchup? I ask because I'm curious if we just play good enough to get recognized for a big kickoff type game in this year's edition. For example, if your team plays good enough and starts winning natties, you start getting automatically selected for these big time games. Cincinnati has the 20th rank underneath their name, but I'm afraid they're just a warm up and in our way. No disrespect, but we're in the SEC now and we're gonna make sure everyone feels it. 14 zip at midfield with the ball. I'm gonna make sure Zari Brown gets his touches today. The elite freshman playmaker is truly an NFL threat, just like running back Eagles here. He's the next best thing since Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Eagles is gonna just walk this one in. I haven't even needed to test out our deep threats with all of their speed, but I'll try it out right now with two minutes to go in the half. 99 speed Romeo Talton. I can't believe how easy 
that was. I seriously feel bad for anyone playing us this year. We'll go ahead and go for more points. Did you just see that sidearm? Is that Mahomes or Flood? Like I said, when all is said and done here, there are a lot of NFL bound players from the offensive line to the quarterback, to the running back, to these receivers. I mean, gosh, I just can't get enough. First time we're hitting a little bit of trouble here. It's a third down and another stop. So many potato kings to choose from. I'm curious who your favorite player was on this dynasty. There are so many greats. From the incredible, inspiring story of Spruce to Vilma, of course, from a handful of quarterback trendsetters, I can't imagine it's an easy decision to make. Clock winding down here, just a quick middle to Brown. It's the first. Eagles stepping in as our every down back, and he's gonna make the most of his carries this year. On third and 12, read option. Flood's gonna keep it. Hit the outside. He is out of there. Touchdown. Cincinnati getting some garbage time points. It's really not gonna matter. Wow, they recover. It got shady there for a minute, but I think we're okay now. Gonna take this one to the house. Eagles is in and that's all she wrote the yards per carry and every touch we just had today was electric eagles getting a little bit of a breather keglar's out there now also a star under his name i forgot we have two elite running backs truly spoiled with riches let's kneel out the clock and go one and oh cincinnati with 21 points in the fourth quarter all for not boise state the blue turf the pride of idaho well not anymore buddy the gem state is ran through cuna two straight games of rain no problemo over here from the flood crew except that that was a bad decision so maybe just a small problemo here for the cuna kings turning it over that was not a good start to the game in the gem state grudge match and now boise state's running down the field already up seven zero they're going for it on a fourth and three looking to keep the drive alive they're pitching it out to the left yeah get stuffed buddy mash your little potatoes up right there boise don't got potatoes like we got them out here in cuna and eagles is here to prove it i mean do a little dance showboat and score. I'm not going to abuse this too often, but when you test me like this with man coverage, of course, I'm going to take my one on one shots to our speedsters. Eagles is next level different. This dude is so good. He can play running back, receiver. Heck, I'm sure he can even throw a ball or two at quarterback. Maybe our new goal this year is to work on getting Eagles the Heisman out of the SEC. Or Flood is an obvious choice as well. I think he's got what it takes. It's obviously going to get a little tougher when we take on SEC competition, but Boise State's showing why they're no pushover right now before half, looking to get some points. They stopped us on the last one and they burn us on the next one. What's that star doing under your number? number Number seven, Idonagy. You got to take that off, my guy. I have a really good feeling about this route for Talton. Let's see how it pans out with the speed. Inaccurate ball. Coach McDonald actually recommended we take a 60 yard field goal in the rain. I told him, no way. Let's trust our offense and pick up the first ourselves. And was I right or was I right? That paid off, and we're going to go right up the gut. Just a yard short. Let's just pound the stone again, falling forward. You know what they say third time's a charm. Feed that man, bouncing around and scoring. One possession game, but I still feel really good about what we got. Ham bone bake them up mash them up who wants a little ham and potatoes much needed insurance on that last one they're going for it on fourth down he's scrambling out that's a dangerous throw and we could not communicate but it was better that that fell incomplete because the turnover led to points Boise State scores, gets an onside kick, but that should ice out their dreams. Looks like a stacked box, but we're going to hand it off to Eagles anyway. Not Leon Osling going down. That's the 97 overall center. I hope he is all right, but let's go ahead and see what the second team All-American kicker's about. Shanking to the left, doesn't matter. I guess some things don't change, and I'm curious if someone has been keeping track of how many field goals I missed all series long. I would really like to know because it's atrocious. Surviving in the end, 35-28, Boise State gave us a little scare. Once again, the Gem State runs through CUNA. Eagles, player of the game, had a good receiving line as well. Now, this is what I'm really intrigued to see. Another game of the week, CUNA versus Florida State, the two seed versus the number three. You already know I'm coming out in the all golds. And bummer, I didn't see Florida State's light blues in here. Regardless, we're on the road taking on the Seminoles. They got the chant in full effect when this squad is good unlike 2024 i think they're a really tough opponent to play cuna is not to be phased though we're the cream of the crop the best potatoes you'll ever taste eighth toughest place to play we're coming out cold so i'm gonna start with a little reverse pass that gets blown up so it's really gonna be like that everyone is ice cold out here and i think it's time we just come out and take a shot third and 16 it's hard to keep up with our guys but i need a protection play action we're gonna scramble out to 
are right. Wow, another dump. First drive didn't work out. Second drive off to a rough start too. I don't know what is going on with our offensive line, but they can barely keep up. Flood cannot keep up with the pressure here. Let's take it underneath the Talton. He is gonna go, man. 99 speed with a juke deking out three. Electric play instantly shakes off any ice from any of our guys. So now we're in business and can get to work. Eagles sure-handed. I'm super high on the Eagle stock. This dude has been lights out for us. And so is Ham. This one-two punch between Eagles and Ham. I'm loving it. But uh but 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 I'm loving that. Pressure coming in again. We'll scramble away. We'll hit the comeback route while getting nailed. Olvera. Blood with a play action. Surveying. Can't find anything. My goodness, it is a tough place to play right now. They are sweating down our neck right now. I want to see if the All-American redeem himself. What in the world? world dude clearly user error and i guess i still haven't figured out kicking that's a little embarrassing to say this late into the game is our offensive line even there anymore i mean we're just getting stuffed like a turkey every single play there we go we got some play getting free it's about building quick momentum that's how you catch florida state napping i mean check this out boom zari brown catch and run almost zipped out of there i'll go ahead and give brown a crack on the left side of the field here he's wide open touchdown the freshman dancing and celebrating his first collegiate touchdown now up 14 to 7 let's let the freshman cook he was open till we threw the interception because our hand got hit the heisman logic's a little crazy if you throw like 10 interceptions and throw for 70 touchdowns you're not going to win the heisman they definitely take interceptions into consideration and in a big way fourth and five florida state here in the fourth quarter this is a big opportunity for them and they find a man getting loose i think i'm gonna test their defense deep here and what was this comeback route? The player I saw had a streak. Clearly not a streak, but okay, we'll take the dump down to Ham. Let's just hurry up and run the same play and go to the sure-handed Ham, catch and run, picking up the first. Now I'm wondering if Eagles is hurt because I've seen three new running backs this game that I haven't seen before. Proving my point, Keglar is now back there. Seen a whole mix of dudes and that's not gonna matter though. This running back committee is dedicated to winning. Like I'm seriously not worried about it. I've recruited really well at the running back position and to prove it to yeah, Keglar says remember me now check out who's in there number 20 Portilla is gonna get the carry and he's gonna go ahead bounce it to the outside just miss now get bruising back Lee right back in there boom lower the shoulder touchdown dude I'm telling you running back by committee since I guess Eagles is down really good game right now between these two teams and that was ugly don't know what the defensive coordinator was thinking on that last drive he might have been sniffing some paint on the sideline because i don't know why you would ever call that loose coverage third and 15 they have played well here against the run and they will get the fourth down forced to punt this thing away on fourth and 16 trying to choose some clock hit one up in the sky and now with three seconds left on defense this is it florida state looking to tie and go to overtime no feel my potato wrath bake them up mash them up stir it up we eating good tonight you know you've built a dynasty when you haven't allocated any points to a five star and you're still leading at number one plus four influence from just a scholarship maybe that changes today we can go ahead and give him some points so we can ensure this lock he was number one cuna idaho atop the leaderboard major win against florida state they only fall to number four but both the media and coaches agree were the best one last good old gold rush class sick for the books here it's in cuna idaho to be frank i'm expecting a blowout stat pad type day anything goes in rivalries i get it but mitch birmingham was the one way back when that turned the tide on this rivalry game so i think cuna somewhere around a 30 point favorite oh what do you know it's raining even better for flood and eagles we'll continue to soar no matter the element as eagle cuts it up fields got blockers oh just one man to beat three and one impressive but how much do you want to bet this secondary can't hold up against our attack on the run check out Hambone. all right fine they survived that one but if i go ahead and just send everyone on a all-out streak i'll be quiet now can't underestimate the cow pokes no matter what year they're stunting on us with that interception on the opening drive that don't matter it just made us hungrier to win olvera who we just connected with is developing press pro which is that vilma glitchy trait 
And you know what's glitchy? Deflected interceptions like that. Now we got to play a little defense here. Just a halfback draw on third and seven. You're not getting past draft. Super silly stuff considering draft has a high draft stock. Little third and three action. Slant. Talton. First and goal. Eagles, I need you to slam this one into the end zone like you do. I can't stop staring at the SEC logo on the field. It's gorgeous. Really excited our program has developed into a powerhouse that can hang at this level. Never in Old McDonald's wildest dreams did he expect to be here and this fast. It's just insane. This was always the dream, but to see it come to fruition, this is the team of destiny gonna go for a three-peat. The scariest part is with so many young guys like Romeo Talton and another year from Flood after this, they could definitely do a four-peat. Just brings a tear to a farmer's eye when you just have a squad that you can root for and expect to win. Getting emotional just thinking about it. You know, it chokes me up just like we like choking out the defense. That is the way we do it. Eagles shedding one and two and score. I don't know what the rushing record is for a single season, but maybe we get there. Fourth and 11, clearly desperation mode here. You're throwing it right to the highest ranked draft stock linebacker in next year's NFL draft as he just takes off. I'm telling you, that's just foolish. You know what also is foolish? They're lining up one-on-one -on -one with our receivers. Talton just cooks everyone. 99 speed out of reach i pity the fool fourth and 28 what you doing thinking you can do something out here well there we go adonaji makes the interception and gets around for a good position would have been in better position if it just went incomplete we're all about padding stats out here in cuna back to eagles little move there faking out the wyoming defender as he falls to his knees he won't be the only one falling to their knees when they see eagle eagles is determined to put this thing through and this won't be the only thing he puts through today well as expected 35 3 it's time to celebrate in cuna idaho gold rush classic more like gold rush blowout senior rob santucci wants to drip his hand out with his third ring playing like like a man on a mission national player of the week and just like that we're already into sec conference play welcoming old miss to cuna idaho i feel like this is our first real test of the season outside of the florida state game that we took care of but actually getting our sec opponent into the potato zone it's going to be an exciting one as they're already taking off down the field getting close to scoring let's play some king brand football here and make a stop good one-on-one -on -one tackle there on the last one he's got options and he's going to take none of them settling for three feels like an l if you're old miss and it's even more you miss it how do you miss a chip shot that was like a 20 yarder i'm not gonna lie i'm shook to see that happen eagles ready to run wild in this game he's got some room you got a workhorse you feed the workhorse let's hit it to the left now the right felt good if only our receiver held his block that could have been distance quick tight end post we got him that's ham so far old miss feels like anyone else prone to getting the beat down i'll give him kudos for holding our drive to fourth down but i won't give him kudos for botching up this fourth down stop you're gonna let ham run all the way home touchdown they scratch their way back in it get some points on the board but you're not escaping that tackle with two minutes to work it's time to let flood go to work over the middle it's time the nation put this name on notice zari brown dropped it maybe redact that statement and wait till he's a sophomore coach old mcdonald not a happy camper after he botched what would have been a first down thankfully you got a qb like flood to do it himself good old-fashioned qb power here oh my gosh that was a zip unfortunately it did not amount to anything but that's okay Alvera is there. First and goal, final few seconds left. Can we get more points? Is that Brown? Yes. Just a little redemption touchdown, you know, something, something. Yes, sir, Brown. Now he's coming alive. And we can go ahead and finish this game off with a score. Zari Brown on the end of round. He's got some space. Good pickup. With some more trickery going with a jet cross screen. Look for it. Now the hamster. There he is. Love calling his name. Would you like some ham with your potatoes? Well, Ole Miss, on your way out, don't forget to try our world-famous Idaho potatoes because I know you're awfully awfully disappointed about this result 35 14 easily survived the first test in the sec at this point in the rebuild i still absolutely love to see freshmen stepping it up like taj godwin he got a good win holding it down at the linebacking core another big team coming to cuna idaho it's now time for texas horns up or horns down i think they're gonna be feeling awfully down after we give them a potato buffet texas has an all-around really good roster but are they ready for our baked potatoes i don't know man i don't think they can hang just point blank 
Look at those blocks. Look at the slippery eagle. Another touchdown. Texas looking to respond. Another quarterback out here. Number six, delivering a ball. Rawls is the hope in light for this Texas program. And he looks pretty good. After playing through my first team builder full dynasty right here, I definitely have some takeaways from the experience, positive and some negative. Honestly, more good than bad. I just want to see some things in the next iteration, like somehow some way creating our own mascot it may feel like a minor detail to some but i really really want to see things like the reese's senior bowl the east west shrine bowl i want another off-season event where i can celebrate the all-star players on my team like those dudes in those events in real life those are my first two thoughts but honestly nothing game breaking it's pretty good there's obviously some minor things here and there like the state pipeline thing and actually not getting it to represent in team builder that's still a little pet peeve like i wish i didn't have to take over another team and then take over their states and pipeline as well. I wish I could just set my own as well as have my own school grades. I'm sure all this can be improved upon either in the next year's edition or in updates. And then if we're talking blue sky, I want an FCS dynasty experience in the next edition. I want all those schools in there. I know it's ambitious, but I would love to see it and then have like our own dynasty experience where the goal is to get them to the FBS and then it carries over in the traditional dynasty, right? Heck, I'm just yapping at this point. Let me know what you think about the game, the state of things and where you want it to go. Just needed something to talk about as Texas makes their way back down the field. They're keeping things a little bit more interesting than Ole Miss was able to. Coming out of half, I admit they're giving us a good test for the money here in the lead third and goal two minutes left they're sending a little bit of a blitz and it gets to him massive moment for number 13 that gives us life and the opportunity to win it right here if we can just score a touchdown i'm not going to worry too much about the clock as i think if we just take play by play we'll get there it's interesting to note that they've held us to 150 passing yards texas is legit so i'm surprised to see that they've lost a couple games in the young season already i hate to be that guy but i'm gonna have to give them another loss once i'm through with them here zari brown gets us in a good position Pound the stone back at it again with eagles third and two might be a good pass down but we're gonna hand it off just looking for two there it is really good work here getting down the field and cashing in wow portilla got in there there's the composure there's the flag on the play except it was on us i thought the program builder ability was gonna kick in there and be on texas but nah last play of the game texas is gonna just lob one up into danger zone no good. Crazy to see Portilla slip in there at the end, and that's going to do it. The comeback complete upset special, or not really an upset, just a good game and avoiding the loss. I know we've been pretty light on the recruiting updates, but I got to pause for a second. Look at this last name, Colin Lekeker Kirker. Kirker. That is a mouthful for anyone that's going to be announcing the game to say. And what a stop by Colin Kirker. That's got to be one of the nuttiest ones I've found. And you know what's nutty? Another game of the week against number five, Alabama on the road. Be a champion. That is the goal for Cuna. I really think we're destined for the three-peat. Can you believe it? Another rain game. It has literally rained in almost every single game that we have played this entire season. Come on, Eagles. Beautiful way to start this game off with a punch in the mouth to Alabama. Our line is better than your line. Look at this ground and pound attack. Absolutely gorgeous out here to see us execute a game plan so well on the first drive. Awfully quiet in here, huh? Gonna need our A game, of course, taking on this unit, the fumble and recovery by Alabama. Cherry, the quarterback here, looking to get his team into a winning position. Not this time. Robert, Truman. Do y'all remember our first game against Georgia and getting stifled out of our mind? You can't tell me this CUNA King team ain't good. I mean, check us out. Dotting up the opposition down the field we go another fumble oh my goodness get on it yes wow that was scary good hustle from Alvera there love to see him keep our drive alive let's go ahead and reward his efforts here with a score a little vertical burst i think so over the middle it's zari brown lit up but you know what we're gonna find a way one way or another scrambling it out to our left maybe ham can give us a block we're just too fast. Just a little ahead of ourselves. We'll go ahead and pick it up to Brown. There we go, skirting around the block, finding a way through. 19 seconds to work it here. Zari, I'm calling your number. You got it for six, my boy. Yes, Brown, yes. Up 14 to three, shout out to the defense, man. They making it happen today. Ham, 
Stretch that ham bone. Ham couldn't stretch his ham bone enough, and we're not looking good here. Alabama's got a chance to take the lead. This is gonna have to be the toughest quarter of your life. Oh, Godwin. I was mid-inspirational talk when he just lurked that. My man came through, and that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Godwin already received SEC Player of the Week honors a week or two ago. Romeo Talton destined to get that one. And now I really think we can settle in here and bring it home. Alvera, sidearm throw lurked underneath not enough sauce on the pass i guess hard work all for not we're down really came out here sold the bag and now alabama has a lead we can make things right if we just keep taking sure play after sure play like eagles down the sideline yes please already in field goal range but forget that i want the win give me a touchdown so let's keep it chugging just take a quick out here to eagles he's got so much space ahead of him and he can make a man miss maybe we can get a little cute here with a reverse end and around did not work and i can't even audible a run play here this close to the line bro we're crazy going for it fourth and three little time left in this game eagles fight no i can't believe it we got the stop we're out of timeouts i just have to trust that we can go and win this thing no how did we miss him i got speedsters at every level i'm gonna take it to talton again this time he beats him and he completes that is gonna do it i can't believe it touch down all right i'm getting out of pocket here but that was crazy i seriously could be abusing that every single game and get a heisman here for romeo talton but i only use his tyree glake speed in a pinch because he's gonna win alabama defender or not this is it though final drive final chances here for bama seven seconds left five four hit interception or deflection here we go final bit of action I'm controlling Whitaker and he's going my way. One on one ball, it's intercepted. That's gonna do it. On that note, Cuna is up to seven and oh. Rashawn Creer, you look nice at a Niceville, Florida, but I'm sorry, my man. You're a little late to the dynasty. Old McDonald's got his team seven and oh, defending that number one ranking. Not much else to say, but shame to anyone that thought Old McDonald wasn't that guy. Cause Old McDonald is definitely that guy, pal. Good to know Vandy's still bad in the SEC nine years later. Let's go ahead and give him a rude awakening. Opening drive, Portilla, take us home. Shrugging aside, Vandy. Little empty split here, little ham bone tie. You already know the rest. Old McDonald really has a hard on for our kicker, wanting to go for 59, 60 yard field goals, which I don't do that. I throw dimes instead. Scramble drill to our right, and we got him. Play action, a little left, a little deep, a little pick. That was not a good play. I guess you can still have a bad play here and there. I'm just surprised this one went to the house. Pick six. Sure escalated quickly, and we're going to have to go back to the tried and true methodology. Scrambling our left. This is a fourth down. I'm going to have to go back to the right. Anything going to open up for us? Maybe the blocks hold. No, that could have been epic. Really thought we were on to something that last drive, but you know what? Forget it. We want more ham. We got more ham. Start lining up and buying your ham jerseys today. I've got to ham it to you. This team is really good. Flood escapes. Not going to lie. I thought that gold line was a first down marker. Definitely not. So we're going to have to go for it on a fourth in 10 and convert. Impressive. That's that Zari Brown dude. Looks like we're without Eagles the entire game, but Portilla is definitely comparable. Ah, yes. Where were we? Did I ever mention... Ham is feeling hammy. Another one. Little ham stew. Bake your potatoes in. Mash them up. Eat it up. Yeah, Vandy is a joke, unfortunately, for the fans over there. They just can't seem to figure it out, even with a new stadium. Renovations can't fix the product you're putting on the field. But heck, Sir Sponge might be able to fix them. I know that's a candidate for a rebuild I've seen in the comments section quite a few times. Fourth and 25. You just got to chuck up a bomb into double coverage and hope you connect. You didn't connect. Well, what does that mean? I hate to say it. It means Kuna King. Ground and pound football. Absolute obliteration in progress. Lee Alawali is a stud. Haven't called for many replays, but I have to watch this thing again. Ooh. 
and then a little stiffy. If he just had more space, he would have been in. This looks like Derek Henry running at you. You're not gonna tackle that. Eesh, good night. We want Ham to win tight end of the year, so let's feed him his fourth touchdown catch. Let's hit the massive backups button and insert all of our second string guys. That was in the last update, and would you look at that? Pepper is back on the field. Man has not sniffed it for so long, and he only got one play. Fell to the ground. 49-10. Cuna Kings win. Continuing along the S. EC trail Missouri's down to an 82 overall not looking too hot this far into the rebuild nonetheless we welcome Mizzou to CUNA Idaho to do what we do every week and I'm not gonna lie I just now only noticed that we're ranked second in the nation how in the world did we fall from number one we're literally undefeated we play in the SEC there's literally zero reason why that should be the case even our non-conference games were tough our resume is buffed out so this is really confusing I'm not gonna lie jet touch pass to the fastest man on this team he's gonna almost slip through didn't work out but that's okay that's what you have a ham for Ham got beat, but I said, that's what you got a ham for. He doesn't get beat on the second one, holding it in. Got our team spread out here. Ham, sure ham it did. See what I did there? For some reason, we're letting Mizzou back into this game. I guess we just kind of felt bad for the year that they're having. So we just want to make things interesting for the Tiger fans. Wow, and talk about interesting. They now have the lead. That's crazy. Down by two possessions. We march right back into the red zone. It's time to take care of some business get in there first and goal scramble drill touchdown Cuna. five points is the difference between us and them that's all it takes let's hand it off to eagles all right Le'Veon eagles not having that great of a day so far until this carry it's all gonna change beautiful run down the line my man was literally 11 carries for 15 yards now chalk him up at 12 carries for 56 yards what a difference one run makes third and six let's just take this play to talton he's got it and that's the lead absolute money play right there getting mizzou back to fourth and nine an interception by whitaker is gonna end this thing what a spin and red zone opportunity had me worried there for a little bit mizzou fought pretty hard in this game every sec opponent is gonna give us a fight so we can never take it for granted eagles though gives us the insurance to possession lead my boy my boy my boy he's flying high soaring like an eagle up by 10 they're gonna go for it on this fourth down opportunity i thought that could have been lurked by godwin but regardless i think this one's about over let's not get silly on the onside kick just do the sure thing pick it up and we'll be good easy peasy from that point on but goodness that game was far from easy peasy back atop the throne for the kings it's fittingly so we are the potato kings and this is our house look at this silly excuse for a florida state team getting the one seed last week we literally beat these guys and they just lost to syracuse so there literally is no reason that they belong above us i guess there were some questions about us being number one well that's just silly talk kentucky is gonna feel us as we reap our harvest all over them wildcats go big blue or something like that a little bit of a scare against mizzou let's not fall into that same trap here against kentucky only way is through pound the stone baby now on third and one we're gonna take this out to alvera he's got it beautiful connection and talk about a dazzling oh man i looked away from the screen before he even got into the end zone i thought it was a sure thing for the ham bone but we'll go ahead and give it to him again can you tell i've been glazing ham all episode long i just absolutely love glazed ham as much as i love this linebacker draft i glaze him too i say he's the best linebacker on the board you get a glaze you get a glaze you get a glaze if the sec can't stop us i truly believe no one can stop us i'll take anyone on right now in the championship game improve our case let's see if we can get through kentucky's defense here at the goal line qb power walk the dog baby third and ten quick strike yes you know who hey yo i need you to make the sure-handed plays out here as flood wow electric that's the only word to describe it dude can just absolutely fly Look at him get around from two defenders. This is some next level stuff. Are you kidding me? Woo! There's a new sheriff in town. And this town ain't big enough for the two of us. I'm sorry, Kentucky. This is where you lose. Little flood drive here. Yep. 
connection, ham, lower the head. Little fourth and seven action here before half, nothing a quick strike won't fix. Fourth and 18, one last send off before the half, just getting annihilated while throwing this one up and intercepted. Let's go ahead and send our team back to Cuna, Idaho on a happy note. No point in letting Kentucky get back in this game, so let's let Ham finish him. Touchdown. If you weren't convinced, I mean, just look at Eagles one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Good night. 10 steps ahead and some is just too easy. Just playing around with our food right now, doing tricks with it, all the above, flood shedding tackles. Just a fun game all around for the offense, 49-21. On we go against a good Florida team into the swamp. Sometimes I like to compare team mascots and see who would win in a logical matchup. You got Florida Gators, chomp chomp. You got CUNA Idaho potatoes. You might be thinking, oh, no brainer. Gators are gonna win and chomp their way through. Well, that's what you think. Not to mention we got gold potatoes. That hits different on the digestive system, but two, there are too many potatoes to get through. The gator can't get through a whole farm of potatoes. He'll get way too full and then collapse. I'm telling you. Like I said, old McDonald's a master at cooking up the right kind of potatoes. So just uh, know he's got us covered. Enough jokes aside, it's third down. We got to pick this thing up and we do Talton to midfield. Flood coming off a seven touchdown performance against Kentucky. That's right. He is that guy, pal. And I'm not going to look past the Gators here. I have a feeling this is going to be a rough and tough scrap. I hardly get this play to work, but it's not going to stop me from trying again. Trust me, one of these days I will get it to work. It's just not today. Did they really just say Ofisa, the guy that tackled me there, has 17 and a half sacks? That's a little nutty. I'm not going to lie. He caught it. Oh my goodness, how did he hang on? Zari Brown with a big catch and surviving the hit. That is next level, my friend. You just set up a ham touchdown. Nothing like getting on the board first in a big matchup. Good interception there by number 16. The receiver broke free. It was in his grasp, but it just was too little on the pass. Not gonna matter with Portilla getting it right back for us. Fourth down, we got it here. A little sidearm toss to Zari Brown, pointing out the defender. Good play. Sheriff just has this sidearm sling to him that just gets me so excited. I absolutely love when he drops it down from the side, man. We'll go ahead on second and eight here. Survey, he waved his hand, but I'm a bonehead for throwing that. <laughs> you can see all the defense closing in. Don't blame Flood, blame me. Coach was barking in his helmet, telling him to throw it or something when he really shouldn't have. I guess I couldn't get that play off in time, so that's the outcome. Third and 13 over the middle looks crisp. He dropped it. Ah, let's go for it. Fourth and 13. Tyreek down there somewhere. 99 speed. That's what it'll do for you. Literally looking like Tyreek Hill the way he was burning down the field. Just make sure you drive safe, you know, like we don't need any reckless endangerment. Florida scrapping their way back in this thing. You know who's going to go the distance for us? Ham, bone, let's eat. Gorgeous connection on the last one on the run there between our guy and ham they love each other pause in the right way our team is built to go the distance scrambling out to our left ofisa wrapped us up he's literally locking in on a 20 sack season no sweat over here 37 24 is gonna be the final down to the final regular season game sheriff flood the favorite for heisman and never count out levy on eagles fourth in the race arizona state's john friend here 318 passing yards six touchdowns beating ranked Kansas. State in the last one, 48 45. That's a good, good game. Taking a look at the rest of the SEC, we're playing Oklahoma this week. They're in second place in the conference. Tennessee looking pretty good. Georgia, meh. Honestly, shocked by the amount of average results across the entire conference. Let's go ahead and show Boomer Sooner what it's all about in CUNA, Idaho. Looking to cap out the regular season in style with two Heisman favorites here Eagles on the first carry. So far, no luck mustering up on this first drive, but I'll go ahead and go for it anyway because look at that. Press Pro, get free and oh my goodness looks like we just want to have fun we're okay with making things interesting out here why not let them take the lead because i don't mind at all eagles on the red zone scissors first and goal calling up a quick audible here J gonna get the fullback involved it's clug plugging it touchdown Cuna idaho has been experiencing sold out crowds for like the last three years it's truly unbelievable what this team has been able to do you already know old mcdonald has been charging an arm and a leg to get into the stadium yet they still come. In fact, 
it's been so successful that even student ticket prices are rising. What they found a couple of years ago in the first national championship run is that students were selling their tickets. That's right, the student ticket package is usually affordable for the college, yet they saw so much profit. Selling their tickets per game at $300 a pop, they made profit after just selling one game. So they could sell two, sell three, and then come to the rest, but that's exactly what they found out they were doing. So old McDonald said, F them kids, I guess. I'm gonna jack the price up and make them pay $2,000 for the student ticket package. That was just last year. Now the price has been raised to $5,000 now that they're in the SEC. That's just the student package. And guess what? Students are still soaking it up. Up, they're buying that thing, no doubt. If you wanted to come to every home game and you weren't a student, guess how much it would cost? $9,969 for a bleacher seat. That's just to get into the stadium and view the game. Premium seating is a whole lot more. So do the math. We might have one of the lowest seat capacity stadiums, but when you add up how much people are paying, the University of CUNA is making bank. They have dollars for days coming in because of what this athletic program's doing. Heck, one of the first things they did was renovate the campus. They built a brand new college for the study of potato sciences. Would you believe me if I told you the building was shaped like a potato and it was made out of pure gold? Seems like they're making great use of these dollars. Anyways, enough yapping here. We're in a 21-21 battle. Brown's gonna give us the lead again. Sooners are one of those teams that just know how to play good football more often than not, year in, year out. They got the stop, and I'm gonna try again for the reverse pass. Receiver throws one, Alvarez got it. I was honestly itching to make that happen, and Zari Brown was itching to get the ball. Marching on down the field, let's go ahead and see what's gonna develop there on that Eagles play. If I could only just have an extra second, I would have been able to get it to him. We have life and an opportunity to still win this thing. Eagles zipping in and out. What a run. With just a minute 30 to play, we can do something extraordinary here if we just get the time of day. This could be the worst decision of our life going for it on fourth down and nine. We miss ham. Well, that was costly. Down by three, no timeouts. Gonna have to make magic happen and we'll start with ham. Okay, okay now. You're telling me there's a chance here. Eagles catch and run. He's got some jittery moves on him. Mr. Jitterfeet out here. I love it. Slant connection zari brown off to the races spin and down at the two a thriller to the very end all right hand off what the heck was that that was risky and dangerous doing all of that jazz no 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 we're gonna lose oh my gosh i pump faked did you see that i actually hit it to ham when he was open but it called a pump fake i must have not hit the button hard enough a sour ending we'd lose to oklahoma in the last game we'll see him again guaranteed in the sec championship game literally just lost and we get to face him again i was too busy yapping about ticket prices and we dropped this last game major blunder but that's not gonna happen this time it's revenge we're seriously gonna thrust oklahoma sooner till their back blows out i'm telling you sooners are gonna be feeling us we're literally ticked off after that old mcdonald had a thing or two to say to his boys you just saw us take on oklahoma but get ready to see it again this time a much better outcome we studied the film from the last week we're writing our wrongs we're gonna show them what cuna football is all about no more mr nice guy sleeves are getting rolled up i'm done being nice this is their final chance to wave the flag. Surrender now or accept the consequences. Eagles is just the start. Next, I'm gonna give you a steady dose of tall tin in the back of the end zone. Touch down. The SEC championship's more important anyway than last week. Without a doubt, we can still be chilling with the number one seed in the playoffs if we just hold on. Over the middle to the hamster, flag on the play. Roughing the passer, naughty, naughty boy. You, sir, cannot be doing that out here on my watch, Alvera. Take it in. When you're up, you're up. You gotta keep things pounded. We could just match the three point, but why would I do that when I have a wide open receiver in Talton? At the inches line, we're just gonna take this thing up the middle with Flood. He got in there. Slant's gonna get open. There is so much green grass ahead. Back calling the double goes. I'm just gonna lob it back up to Talton because I don't think number 12 can hang in there with that speed. Did I or did I not mention we're angry? 28-3, are you feeling us now? We're taking this game very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that we're about to score and be up 35-3 in the first half. Y'all didn't believe me? I'm about to show you why it's about to become 42-3. Forget the 35. I want another one. 
Zare. That's it. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. Dart to Eagles. I know he's like that. I think the Sooners did not prep very well for this game. They assumed they could beat us again like they did last week. Instead of practicing hard, all they did was eat junk food, fast food, muffins, cupcakes, all the delights, man. The only thing they didn't do was get ready for this game. It's like, congrats, I'm so happy for you. You got a touchdown, wow. Y'all can head on home with your tail tucked between the legs, 63-13. That's a smackdown. Obvious player of the game, eight touchdowns. We won the Big 12 our first year, and now we're gonna win the SEC in our first year. After that game, rightfully so, we leapfrog back into the number one spot. Syracuse down to five after losing to Stanford in the championship game. But check out Arizona State, forks up 13-0. and Perfect season going into the playoffs. And did somebody say playoffs? That's right. Here is a look at the bracket. We'll have a fun first one taking on the winner of of Troy, Tennessee. Troy had a perfect season as well. But before we can get there, let's bask in the moment here. Sheriff Flood, player of the year, and rightfully so, especially sealing it after the championship game, Heisman. Le'Veon Eagles won running back of the year, and those are just his rushing yards. Danny Ham just looks like a Danny Ham, doesn't he? 50 catches, 17 for touchdowns. James wins DB of the year, and wow, yeah, this team was just full of accolades. Small sample size here from guys like Lee Olawali and Tony Tilla, but they carry the rock very efficiently. This is part of the reason why Le'Veon won the running back of the year award. 566 yards, six tutties through the air. Big time defense from Santucci and Forrester. Linebacking core led by redshirt freshman Godwin with four interceptions. And then three from Draft, Branson, and Whitaker. Part of the reason I think James won DB of the year is because he had 92 tackles and that leads the team more than any other linebacker even. Let's keep it pushing with the Cotton Bowl taking on Tennessee. Are you from Tennessee? Because these potatoes are the only 10 I see. There we go. It's time for some football. All right, who talked about color coordination for this game? We have gold versus orange. That's a little insane. This could get a little confusing throughout the game. Who is who? Am I right? Regardless, it's pretty cool to see Tennessee get to this point. Just feel bad for them because we're going to have to send them home just when they got here. Got James slotting down in the sub linebacker position. The cornerback. I'm taking control here. He's fast. He can tackle. He is a stud. Successful mission holding them to three. And on the other side of the field, it's Flood leading his guys down here with an insane electric Lightning McQueen burst. They just sometimes kick it into that ultra drive, which I love to see it. I'm not going to lie. Talton secures it and gets us on the board. 7-3. Must have missed the part where our second team All-American kicker misses the extra point. My bad. And now Tennessee, with the lead, wants more. Went ahead and denied their request for more points and instead said, let's take six of our own. Alvera, touchdown, press pro beater. You got a couple Heisman candidates, including the Heisman winner out here. You are going to get dotted up all night long. Flood is trying to be the only player in history to not only win one, two, three national championships and then tack on a fourth because he's coming back for a senior season. Well, I guess that's a big if he comes back. If I were the homie, I'd go to the NFL, man. You have a storied career out here for CUNA. Ah, shoot. Woo! Hoo, 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 hoo. How did he get that? I literally said, oh, shoot. I thought that was a pick. The tide definitely turned pretty quickly in this game. Fourth and six. This is all they got left. Fourth and goal at the one. Garbage time points here. They do need this one. It's a handoff up the middle. He's going to go nowhere. Denied. Slip screen just to finish this thing off. Why the heck not? We're just having fun with it out here. Come on now. Textbook first round, 41-17 victory. No real hiccups, no real roadblocks. The amount of times I see the Ducks in the playoffs is unheard of. And yes, I'm still salty. My Boise State Broncos couldn't win in week two of the regular season here in real life. I think we keep it going wearing the all golds. Pour some sugar on me in the name of CUNA. Looking for some points to kick off the fun today. Good defense. Let's see what the mighty Ducks are all about. Got stars across the board here on offense couple receivers couple quarterback and running back tandem and there's puddles well this game's been a whirlwind in all the wrong ways it's down 28-0 so let's commence the largest comeback in collegiate history shall we just under a minute here in the half i'm gonna toss one to eagles against the linebacker you gotta be kidding me don't ever test Le'Veon like that it's not over yet fourth down they literally score again unbelievable but hey look at that press pro for the win 
Verticals, baby. And a flag. Tell me it's on them. Yes, sir. Gonna decline it and take the six. Essentially the all verticals challenge at this point. Bang. I think the running back has got to step again. It's Eagles. Not a house call, but we definitely got the weapons to make this game interesting. Am I right? Flood. Oh, yeah. No more messing around. Just get me in the end zone, please, and thank you. Coach suggests we start going for two. I'm going to have to agree with him because I want to make this thing as close as possible. Oregon chewed so much clock on their last drive, it's actually redonkulous. So we're going to have to come back and strike fast. Of course, they continue to line up a mismatch against our running back, so my eyes will gravitate in that direction. And what the heck? I thought we had a step. <gasps> Yo! Eagles makes an out of his mind catch. I see someone really wants the national championship. I'm glad there's at least one of us on this team that wants it bad enough. Yes. Talk to me nicely. A minute 30 with all our timeouts. All we got to do is cash in for this two-pointer and we will be one possession game. You're telling me there's a chance. I kid you not. No timeouts. Sure, that's one thing. But look at this, folks. We have... A ball game. Defense did their job here in the fourth quarter, putting the ball right now into the offense's hands, hoping that they can do it. Oh my goodness, Brown, let's go. You've got to be kidding me. Are you out of your mind? This has got to be one of the greatest comebacks ever. Let's go ahead and keep it in. Flood, get there, baby, get there. Yes, come on. You've got to be kidding me right now. Third and 10, make the stop, make the stop. No. Oh no, that was tragic. So our best chance right now is hoping this thing goes to overtime. Big sack, let's go. Can you feel it, CUNA fans? Mo Bamba's blaring in the background. I'm amped up. This has got to be one of the best games in CUNA's history. And it just gets even better because the stakes are so high. We are going to the natty if we can pull this off. Someone stop that running back, man. We make the stop fourth and one. Looks like we're heading to overtime. I don't think they're going to snap it off. They do. But yeah, it's out of bounds. So no chance to return it. How have we come back in this game? And check out homie's eyes. Oh my goodness, that's scary. Oregon wins the toss. I imagine they want to play defense first. Literally have been playing from behind all game. I was just in vertical spread him out mode, but now I can actually do a little bit of ground and pound. I'm so amped up right now by the result and how well we've come back. Eagles around the outside. Come on, baby. We're hungry. You know how badly we want to bake them up, mash them up. National championship aspirations. We want it all ham. Give me the ham bone. Way to stick your ham bone with authority. QB power flood. This is so freaking risky, but we're going to power it again. He could fumble. That is always the danger, but he's in. Cuna, Idaho, your team is in the lead. All right, first and 10 on defense. Why are we leaving him so open? It's already first and goal after that first play of the drive. They're searching. They're going to dump it out here to 82 get sticked Taj Godwin here with his 11th tackle in the game going back in coverage the quarterback stepping up hit him oh my gosh man this is nerve-wracking right now third in goal this is insane he missed his receiver screw it send him up the middle send a blitz bring everything we got he's going for it no I'm not messing around with no two-point attempt for the win here so just take your one comes down to double overtime we have got one of the best games in college football football history right here first play ducks in zone house call that's that shiz i don't like two point attempt he's gonna not hand it off it's a fake he got me over the middle flood feeling salty man about that was really counting on his defense here to step up and be a hero but he's gonna have to do it himself spreading them out hurrying up trying to keep oregon off tempo here taking the sure thing across to talton fighting fighting it fighting pretty quick and efficient to get down here let's go ahead and dump it out to ham get in there big boy surprise he did not get in there i'm a little bummed to see that so we'll just go the other direction eagles has it it literally scares me so bad to run a jet touch for the two-point play here can we get through up and in we tie it we're going triple ot triple overtime this is literally insane it's trading two-point attempts now right is that correct ham He's got it. Come on. Back and forth we go. This is literally insanity. They're going to go with an option run here. Stop him. He's in. Fourth round of overtime. He's sending his running back out. It's a pass play. Holding over the middle. Make a play, linebacker. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. Why didn't the linebacker jump up and make a play? Now it's, what is this, fourth or fifth round of OT. I'm actually scared out of my mind. And we don't get it. Play was blown up. Cuna loses in the Sugar Bowl. This is not a drill. The Ducks take us out after the craziest game ever. I'm so 
disheartened. What a sour potato way to end. It looks like Notre Dame did what we could not. They knock off Oregon for the championship. I think we can hold Kegler back from the NFL, persuade him to stay, continue to be that one-two punch with Eagles. Sending eight potato kings to the NFL draft, this was one of our most fruitful harvests. Leon Osling, first rounder, Rob in the second. There was literally at least one potato king getting selected in every round. In the transfer portal, do my eyes deceive me? We have actually access to the number one player. Damarius Denbo, yes please. Dom Wilkins, yes please. Nick Landry, a freshman from Mississippi State, yes please. Oh yeah, and Andrea Coro from BYU, okay. Got the freshman receiver, already lost out on BYU's linebacker. Even worse, I think we lost Dom Wilkins and we might lose Damarius Denbo. Yep, he chose Oklahoma. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles in this series. If we peek ahead to next year, we see Sheriff Flood, Le'Veon Eagles, and Zari Brown, the trifecta uh, first team all americans the roster is locked and loaded no shortage of star power even sophomore receiver landry we just brought in is an 87 overall but talk about the second year leap from zari brown one last look at old mcdonald's success here on the team four first rounders three second rounders five third rounders four fourth rounders two three and one that is 22 potato kings sent to the nfl across this rebuild and trust me if we kept going another year or two there are so many more lining up a look at some of the quick stats notably 78 wins 19 versus higher rank, 17 top 25 wins, 12 top 10 wins, six top five victories, couple national championships, 19 five stars, two top 10 classes. And yeah, man, life was good for Old McDonald. What a run it has been. Well, and just like that, Old McDonald doesn't get his fancy right off into the sunset. No three P over here in CUNA, Idaho, but we still had a lot of fun and made a lot of memories along the way. I really hope you soaked up this series. I enjoy bringing it to y'all. Maybe, just maybe, there's another season in the works that could come with a full movie and down the road to catch everyone up that hasn't been able to tune into everything up to this point. I know some people find me a little bit later, and some of y'all have been riding with me since day one. Regardless, it'll be one last send-off for the CUNA Kings at some point. I really want to hear back from you in the comment section. I appreciate all the feedback. Let me know what you want to see differently in the next Team Builder series because I'm going to be kicking and another one off here in due time. These team builder series are some of my favorite to do, just like Salona Beach, now CUNA Kings. There's gonna be a new team in the fold. So I wanna hear what you wanna see, what I should do differently. Should I spice anything up with challenges or anything else of the sort? I'm all about it, so let's find out. Regardless, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. All your support means the world and it makes a huge difference on this channel. I appreciate y'all tuning in. This series has been so much fun. Once again, there are so many calls college football 25 bangers around the corner. You're not going to want to miss a thing. So keep it here with King's Bunch.